Hello ladies, this is Gina with Impress and Glow Spray 10 and Spray 10 Training and where my ultimate mission is to help women, moms, single moms uh, learn how to become financially independent while building a business or side hustle as a spray tan technician. That's what I do. So today's video is kind of my little secret. I don't know if it's a secret, but <laughs> my little um, strategy, I guess you would call it, as to how I was successful in getting paid very well, um, getting lots of reviews, uh, getting information on lots of clients for follow-up, uh, and building relationships very quickly when I first started my business. All right, guys, so my little strategy that I came up with very early on uh, in spray tanning, and what I've learned in other businesses that I've been involved in is definitely networking and trying to build your business, not essentially only one client at a time, but trying to build your business with a mass majority and as many clients as you can at a time. Definitely taking care of all of them, um, but trying to get in front of as many people as you can, networking with um, people in your industry um, and getting your name out there. So what I did was a lot of pop-up spray tan events. At first I didn't see how that could really work until I found the structure uh, to go with this. So what I love um, about pop-up spray tan events is you can essentially be mobile, you can kind of do it anywhere, but you can serve a lot of girls, a lot of women in one place at one time. So you can do this um, with girls who own salons, uh, you can do this with gyms, you can do this with boutiques, um, you can do this with um, just having maybe your girlfriends or advertise that you're doing like girls night um, spray tan events, which are fun, um, but you're gonna get quite a lot of people all at once. Now, because you're networking with other people, what this does is it does cross promoting for you and that other business um, or other person, whoever is involved with this um, event with you. Um, I've done, um, I've done so so many pop up events. I've done them in salons. I've done them where you know in the separate room that they may have had um, in nail salons. I have done them for. I have promoted with boutique owners. Um, so I've, d I've done a million girls nights like th those are probably the best those are fun because you can get girls together who are girlfriends already um, promote it to where you're gonna come to them set up and they can use it as a girls night it's great for uh, bachelorette pre bachelorette um, vacations pre wedding um, birthday parties uh, they're a lot of fun. They love to, you know, have wine. They can have snacks. They all come and, you know, have their their robes. Um, so it's fun. It's a it's a great way to build with all these women. So here's a couple of strategic things that you need to do during this these events that you can't just pop them up and not have a strategy behind why you're doing them. So in order to get these together and to the idea behind this is building clientele for the long run, not just for this event. So you have to have a way to um, kind of get women on a stream, um, kind of put them in together to one, control how many women you're gonna have, um, know how long this event is gonna take, and to make sure that you get all of the prep and post care information to these um, to these clients and to, to these customers because we all know when you do a spray tan it's so important prep work is so important and you can't really just have people just show up so you have to have some kind of way where you have like a sign up sheet uh, maybe you can create a Facebook event for it if you already have a booking system and you can create an event through there where they have to sign up and um, then they'll automatically get emails or if you just have a sign-up sheet written um, in the salon or wherever you're going to be creating this event and then you can follow up with these people to make sure that one you get their name full name you're gonna get their phone number and they're gonna get their email I'm gonna tell you why that's important later okay so make sure you're getting this information uh, this is like people just throwing their information to you so that you can do follow-up later so 
definitely have a way for them to sign up and for you to be able to contact them prior to this event so that you can give them all their information at the beginning. Another thing that pop-up events are great for is we wanna make some money. And so if you're mobile, you know if you're just doing one client at a time, it literally, especially at the beginning, it's gonna take you about an hour to do one appointment every hour. And maybe you're making 40, 50, 60 bucks um, in that hour, but if you have five, six girls and you can do them in three hours where you don't have to break down all your stuff, break down all your equipment, drive from here to there, you can make some very good money in a lot shorter amount of time uh, because that's what we're here to do. We're here to make some money. So <laughs> if you can get them all in one place at one time and just line them up and start spray tanning, it's the ideal situation. Now I'm going to talk about discounts for this because yes, Another incentive that I have given girls when they're doing girls nights or they're doing, you know, going to offer something is they like to ask for um, discounts on their spray tan and not pay full price, which is definitely okay. I mean, you're going to be doing so many at once, but be very careful with the wording as to how you explain how pricing is going to work. Ultimately, it should be however many actually come to this event because if you're going to tell people you're going to give them ten dollars off of their spray tan and literally only two people show up now you're kind of starting to lose money so you can offer like a tier plan based on how many girls it's not on how many girls confirm it is on how many girls or gentlemen whoever it is actually come to your event so i wouldn't give final pricing until you know that day how many people are there. You can give them a, an idea of, well, I can do the discount. Um, it's just going to all depend as to how many people show up because girls are going to give you a number. Oh, I have 15 girls of my girlfriends that are coming and I can almost tell you like divide that by three every time. If, if somebody gives you a number, oh, I have, I have 12 girls already signed up. Oh my gosh. As the beginning when you're starting to spray tan, you're like, holy cow, how am I gonna spray tan that many girls? But I'll do it and I'm excited because I'm gonna make so much money. I'm gonna give you guys 10, $15 off of each spray tan and literally two to three girls show up. Like, hands down has happened every single time. So be very careful with your, with your discounts um, and really make sure that you can't give them final pricing information until the day of um, and you know how many girls are gonna be there. And it, that, what that does is it also kind of, kind of pushes um, the people who are hosting this to have like a final date of you signing up and making sure that they have the people confirmed. Um, because it's not essentially their business to make sure that they're confirming. Um, so again, it kind of co coincides with that sign up sheet or the way you're getting the, these girls all together uh, where you can do confirmation, you kind of know that they're coming, um, and then at last, if they back out last minute, then you know, you kind of cover all your bases. So, definitely be careful with that. Now, what kind of equipment do you need to bring to these events? Literally, it's just like having doing a mobile, a mobile visit. So, I'm gonna link, um, I've come created a mobile spray tan checklist for you guys. Um, I created it in a video a while back, but I'm going to add that to this video. Uh, what I loved about this is you can take this sheet, download it, and laminate it, and put it in your spray tan bag so that every time you leave the house to, to an appointment, you can just check off everything that should be in your bag. The worst thing is to get to an appointment and forget your spray tan gun. I'm not going to say that's happened to me, but that's why I created this list. Because it did happen. Oh my gosh. So definitely download that mobile spray tan checklist. It's awesome. Um, it gives you everything from start to finish as to what you should bring to any kind of mobile um, mobile uh, appointment. And so that will definitely help when it comes to pop-up events. It's just something that to keep in, in your spray tan bag at all times to have available. Last but not least, the reason also why you have your sign-up sheet is your follow up how many times have I talked about follow up you have to have a way to get a hold of people to do so many different things you want to get their phone number so that you can text them and ask how their spray tan went you want to ask for Google reviews 
or Facebook reviews for your business, you want to ask them if they can send you a picture of them in, with their spray tan um, so that you have content to post. Um, you get their email and ask if they'd like to be included down the road in, a, in your newsletter if you're going to be creating one. But their name, also what that helps you do is, let's be honest, we want to like build a very good social media following and so if you can find them on Instagram or if you can find them on Facebook, keep your name around them. If they love your service, they are gonna talk about it, they are gonna tag your business. Some girls may not even know that you have an Instagram unless you find them first and then they can tag you. Or if you post a picture and they repost it, it's a whole thing. You guys know the social media game and how it works. Um, but that's why you want all the information for them as possible. So that's a little, I don't know if you call it a secret, but I love strategy, business strategy in terms of doing things like this and thinking outside the box as to how I could use my time most efficiently and make the most money with that little bit of time. Because what do we do? This is a side hustle for me still. Um, when I first started this business as a spray tan technician and my business was completely um, necessary for me to make smart business choices in terms of time, um, because I was a single mom and I didn't have a lot of time to just throw at the wall and say, well, I hope I make some money. So I came up with these um, pop-up events, girls' nights, all these fun, um, creative ideas um, that I want to share with you guys so that you guys can make money quickly and grow that clientele base as fast as you can. So I hope that helps. Don't forget, I offer online and one-on-one -on -one training in Southern California. Please let me know if I can help you. I would love to get you guys started building your side hustle as a spray tan technician and help you and watch you become financially independent and all that comes with that. I hope you, have, you guys have a good day.